Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is introduction to audit command language. So this is the seventh lesson, so we're on definitely on the home stretch now, of a series of eight lessons on the topic of introduction to audit command language. So in this lesson, we'll be covering off age and stratified data. Uh, and really, this is really useful. So aging is really useful when you want to, for example, you're an external auditor and you want to re-perform the aging on their aging report to see whether or not they've done it accurately and to assess the valuation and collectability of the accounts receivable. It's also really important if you're an internal auditor and you want to assess their accounts payable process. So you can see all the outstanding accounts payable and perform aging to see how long it's been since they've actually invoiced us. And then you can use that as assessment to determine how quickly or efficient the accounts payable department is, the payments department is, and then as well whether or not there's going to be any outstanding charges for late payments. And then Stratify is really good just to get an understanding of your data, allows you to segment your data and understand how much data is in each bucket. So enough about me blabbering about it, let's just get started. So first thing we're going to do is actually going to import a new data set. It's also within the data folder. Uh, it's going to be called report2. And we're going to go next. And we're, it's going to be a print image report. And then here, uh, you will see that it's already done it for us. So ACL 11 is awesome like that. Uh, if it's not, then you have to highlight each section. So we'll go customer no. And we'll call this invoice uh, date. And then we'll call this uh, due date. And then we'll call this um, ref no. We'll call this trans type. And then we'll call this last section trans amount. So there you go. Um, now we go next. And then we're going to save it as invoice data. So I've imported this previously when I was testing it out. But make sure you call it underscore invoice data. And then we're just going to double check, make sure everything is appropriate. The math looks right. Uh, things have the, so in this case, it didn't have the correct number of decimal places. So we press next. A little, another little summary, another little check area. So here, now we'll go to the log, copy the import print to here. And now what we're going to do here is now we're going to use the aging function, which is this 30, 60, 90. Click here. It's going to ask you what you're, or what you're going to age on. In this case, I'm going to age on invoice date, and then I'm going to age, and then I'm going to go. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, to 1992, I think is this data, and then I'm going to go. Uh, December, and I'm going to go December 31st. So you can also use the calendar to to get here. And I'm going to leave it as these buckets, which are the 30, 60, 90, 120, uh, what, 10,000. And I'm going to subtotal trans amount. And I'm just going to put it to, let's put it to a couple different options. So I'm going to put it to graph. And what's going to do here is it's going to do a quick uh, bar chart, 3D bar chart. Not the greatest looking bar chart, but uh, it's still like, pretty nice. You can also change it to, uh, to various options and and uh, whatnot, but I, to be honest, I don't use this too often. Uh, and we actually go to the log here, and uh, then we can go up here and say, put it to screen. And then here, it actually provides a nice little table summarizing the data. So how many transactions are between uh, zero and 29 days, 212 of them, that makes up 27% of the count, but only 3% of the actual amounts. And you can see up here, there's one there's one transaction that's actually very large and makes up 50% of the amount. So what we can actually do is then just take a look at this data and it will run the various filters and we can take a look and uh, look that it's actually pretty interesting and something that we can um, analyze further. So that's aging. Aging super important, really useful. Definitely recommend that uh, you test it out in your own, your own data. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to use Stratify. So stratify is really interesting as well. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to stratify on the bonus percentages to understand the increments and groupings of this 
of the bonuses. Because like right now, yes, we can right click and start descending and see that there's one that's almost 45%, another one that's 0.1%. But like how many are actually in each bucket and what's the range? So what we're going to do here is we're going to go this one, two, three. It's called uh, stratify. And now uh, we're going to stratify on bonus percentage. And we are going to subtotal the bonus amount. And uh, yeah, and the bonus amount. And we're going to do uh, 10. Well, let's just do five in intervals. And our minimum is going to be zero. And our maximum is going to be 25. So it's going to split it, then split that range into five different categories. And our we could do it to screen, so or we could do it to file and do it to an ACL table. Let's actually do that. Let's call this employee uh, may stratify. And then press OK. And then what you'll see here is the bonus range 0 to 5% makes up 58 transactions, 28% uh, of the actual number of accounts. But only uh, eight percent of the bonus, which uh, which makes sense. But you can see here, uh, majority of the people have less than fifteen percent bonus, uh, and then as well on the amount side as well. So really interesting, great way to segment your data, uh, and really great way to understand the ranges of your amount, which is super important when you're defining parameters or understanding what's excessively large or excessively small when it comes to the amounts. So. Hopefully you learned something and I look forward to speaking to you in the next lesson.